hello guys welcome back and for this video we want to look at uh, the basics so we want to go ahead and look at page events now we we'll, for this video we'll be using Node-RAD so we're going to be working with Node.js and yeah so I created a table called out ongoing matches this is a table called ongoing matches and what we want to do is we want to update this table once a game is added so once we create a game this table is going to be updated so if you don't know how to create a table you just come here create a table and here you go you add your fields right there and that is it now uh, you need to know that once you create a table the very first letter here is capitalized and the other one here is capitalized this is unlike php php or classic excuse me so uh, you need to keep that in mind when you're working with page events so what we want to do is update this ongoing matches table from a games table. So I like to just expand this. So we want to get the status of the match and update the players who are playing, get the first player and the second player. And we also want to get the status of the match. Okay. So for the status is going to be uh, static. So we are going to be working with static for status. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's go down here so we have player one player two let's go to page events and what we want to do is after we add after we add in the games table we want this table ongoing matches to be updated so insert the async function here so this are going to do an insert okay so you need to get rid of this but you need to note this now everything on the left side before the semicolon the full colon sorry everything on the left side will be the name of the fields you are updating so let's say for example i want to update player one from a uh, game stable so everything that is going to be on this side will be any field from the ongoing matches table everything that's going to be on this side will be the fields we are updating from in our current table so since we are updating from games everything on the right side is going to be a field inside the games table unless you want it to be static all right so now that in mind let's go ahead and delete this okay so so what you want to update is we want to update the status okay and since this is a this is static we want once a player is added or the update is done we want this to be ongoing okay so we want to label that as ongoing put a semicolon if that is not the end of the match so if you, that is not the end of your fields you need to put a semicolon there now the next thing you need to do is get the second table field we want to update which is player one as you can see from here the ongoing matches we need a player one put a semicolon uh this is player one i want to take you step by step so this is going to be player one let's have player two and since this is the last uh this is the last one we will not need to put a semicolon because this is the last record now how do you know which table you are updating from you are updating because you need to uh, select which table you are updating so the model name here is the name of the table you are updating so we are updating on going remember these are caps the first uh, is going to be caps the first letter so it's going to be ongoing matches like that so we get the name of this table and now whenever we want you know in php classic we used to do model data to get the data of the current uh, the current uh, field but for this one we use record record dot the name of the table that we are updating from now we are going to be getting these from up here so let's click ok and let's see what you are working with so we want the player So we're going to say record dot player player one okay record dot player one and here we're also going to do record 
dot layer two. Now remember, these are the field names from the table we are updating from, and that is it. So once we publish this, so I'll pause this so that we can actually wait for it to finish. Just pause. All right, great. So now, if you come back to ongoing matches, you notice that is empty. So to fix that, let's go to uh, our table that we are updating from games and whenever we add the games whenever we add a game inside the games here go select this and let's select the players and let's submit great so if we now come back to ongoing matches you will realize that we now have our records inserted here so that is generally how you'll be doing this so as you can see here we have the players but whenever we are adding from games we don't have the name of the player what we have we don't have a, an id we have just a name so what is going on is that uh this is the id of the player but whenever i'm adding i'm masking the id with a with a uh, field with a username so this is just uniquely identifying which player is which so that we can be able to do other unique filters in the as we go on so now we'll go ahead and do another top up to this video and let's look at uh, how to do master relationship tables so what i want to do is i want to mask this id with the name of the player so we do a master relationship table and from the list page here let's go to player and you want to do a record detail page all right now from here relationship type we want it to be one to one originally it's set to one to many but you can just set one to one make sure that is set so that you don't lose your uh, details so uh, we are getting this detail from the register tournament so once a player has registered for a tournament we want that player to be uh, we want that player to have their information here so the detail table primary key will be the primary key of the table where you are getting your data from right now i want this to be drawer you can set this to be whatever you want now the detail display field will be what we'll be using to mask the name the id so for this case i want the username to be the mask and publish this so if we go back here we expect to see some stuff So, okay, so it seems, uh, all right, it's actually working. So we'll have to wait for this to finish publishing. And as it's finishing, you just, uh, you can just wait for a hot reload here in case it does not do the hot reload after finishing the, the gen, the publishing, then you can do a hot reload over there. All right. So if we come back here. All right. So it seems it's not working. So let's go back and try and check what the issue is. Right. So we come back here. Now the ID of the player whatever you're getting for the id of the player now this id will be generally uh everything that is the id that is coming from the username of the player so if we come back here you notice we have the uid so what you might need to do is go to our users table because a player is already registered to the system and use their id instead okay so whenever you come to tournaments Whenever you come uh, to this uh, details table here, what you want to do is go ahead and get the username. All right. So the username will mask the ID of that user. So we click on publish. Then we expect to get something going on. Let's see. All right. 
let's reload this all right so there we go so now we have the name of uh, whoever is actually in this match and now if you click on this you will get their full name here now just as uh, as a top up to that you can also mask with whatever you feel like you want now since for this situation we are masking using the username we can mask using the full name so that now we get the full name of that user because whenever we are creating our users from here you notice that this user is saved as Wahome, as you can see. So we saved this user as Wahome. Okay. So now to get the same uh, result here, that's why we came and did a masking for this user. So let's wait for the publish to complete. And there we go. So we should get uh, this user having the name, full name as Wahome Mutahi. Okay, so the, the, this means there's a problem with our server. Okay, so it's running again. You can do a reload. If you ever get that error, just go ahead and check out your server here. And you can try and double click on it. Not really click, but press enter buttons after clicking the command prompt. So now we should have whatever we are looking for. I don't know why it's taking forever, but let's wait. Uh, I'll pause so that we don't waste. All right, so there we go. So we had an issue with the server, so that's it. Now, if you click on this, you get a drawer with the details of the user. And there we go. So that's basically how you do the master relationship table and the page event. So see you in the next video, guys. And if you want to see more of these videos, uh, make sure you click the subscribe button there. I'll be posting a lot of videos on PHP Lad, And hopefully we'll be able to cover a lot of things. Uh, things that you're curious about so hit the subscribe button if you have any issue make sure you ask in the comment section below